Oh, uh, hey guys, it's me. So, um, some parts of this video look a little grainy, and that's because I was testing out a new camera to make my videos better for you guys, but instead, it made it worse. This won't happen again. I will and can do better. So, I hope you guys still enjoy and you understand. Ugh, I'm so hungry. I could literally eat three bowls of pasta. Literally. But I don't want to feel guilty about it. I mean, that's a lot of carbs. I wonder how long I'd have to work out at the gym to make up for that. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not worth it. Maybe there's something in the fridge. Damn it, I forgot to go grocery shopping today. If only I had something at home that I can turn into a quick and easy healthy meal. Hmm, wait a minute. Spaghetti squash? No freaking way! Looks like I'll be having three bowls of pasta today after all. Okay, so first things first, I gotta set the oven to preheat to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to prepare the spaghetti squash. So I got my spaghetti squash here and I'm gonna cut it lengthwise. Just a heads up, you might wanna cut the butts off of the spaghetti squash to make it easier to cut through. Once you've got your two halves, you just want to grab a spoon and remove all of the seeds from the insides of the spaghetti squash. And yes, I'm aware that I got a little bit of a gunky surprise inside of my spaghetti squash, but not to worry, it's only in my seeds, so I'm just going to remove that with my spoon. So this is what the spaghetti squash should look like after it's been cleaned. I'm setting aside that half for tomorrow and this one I'm just cleaning out like I did before and then I'm going to set it with the face up on a tinfoil lined pan. Next I'm drizzling it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and this extra virgin olive oil came all the way from Italy, thank you mom. And then I'm just sprinkling a little bit of sea salt on top. And now that the oven is set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm gonna have a bit of a dance party and place the pan on the middle rack. Next, I'm setting my timer for 45 minutes, so while that is doing its thing, I'm just gonna go, you know, kill some time, maybe have another dance party, who knows. After the 45 minutes are up, you wanna make sure that you turn off your oven before opening it, and be careful not to give yourself a strong steam facial when opening up the door. That is a crucial step. Okay, so this is what the spaghetti squash should look like when you take it out of the oven and you just want to let it sit and cool down for about 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes are up, you want to take a fork and run it through the squash in the same direction as the strands. And then you'll see you're going to create these beautiful spaghetti-like strands. Yeah, very descriptive, Nikki. Okay, so I used a pair of tongs to help me out with this process to pick up all of the spaghetti and then put it into a glass bowl. Once I have all my spaghetti squash in a bowl, I'm taking a little bit of more sea salt and sprinkling that over the spaghetti squash and then putting some marinara sauce on top. You can get as creative as you want to get with this. You can also add some minced garlic in there, some spices, some herbs, whatever floats your boat. And then you just want to go to town and mix up your spaghetti squash with all of your mixings. And because this is a YouTube video, I'm going to try to work on my presentation skills over here. And I'm going to put the spaghetti squash from that mixing bowl, which if I'm not gonna lie, I would have probably eaten the spaghetti squash right out of that mixing bowl. I'm gonna put it on a white plate and then garnish it with some Parmesan cheese and some chopped up parsley that I chopped up while the oven was doing its thing. Damn girl, that pasta is bigger than your head. It kind of looks like my messy bun. Okay, here comes a taste test. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. There you go, the head tilt. So good. Little dance, you know, because I'm extra. 
some more dancing. Okay, I think that's enough trying to eat pretty, so I'm gonna go ham on this thing. Yeah! Hey, can I tell you a secret? If you're subscribed to my channel, you might still be missing out on my content. To make sure you don't miss my next video, click on this little bell icon next to the subscribe button and check off this box to receive notifications from my channel every time I upload a video. Want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube? Follow me on Instagram, Snap, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. Ugh, it's that time again. Cleaning these dirty ass makeup brushes. There must be an easier, better way. Let's see if Google can help. Brush cleaning matte. Oh, this is the one that all the beauty gurus use. Let's check it out. Damn, that's some fancy schmancy silicone. Okay, so it's got that pretty pink color with the silicone suction cups that look like the ones on the tentacles of an octopus. And look at that, it's also been featured on Pop Sugar. I have no idea what that is, but sounds legit.